G'day Van Fam and welcome back to another episode. This week we are at a tiny town in the southwest of Western Australia called Parongarup. Parongarup. <laughs> it's so catchy. Parongarup. 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 My apologies. We've been uh, googling how to pronounce town names now because we've been getting in trouble for yeah, pronouncing yeah, things yeah, wrong. Know, and this one was just super catchy. So every time we go going for a drive, we're like Parongarup. <laughs> So this week we've done some very challenging hikes. Um, they both challenged me physically and very mentally as well. It is a fine challenge. Good job, Mum. <laughs> One foot in front of the other. Like some of them are really hard. So let's get into the episode. You can see what happens. Good morning Van Fam. Nice instant coffee to start the day. Everyone's awake. Young fella outside just doing young fella things. Fairly dressed and ready to go. We have a really cool thing to go and do here out at Paronga Up. But first we just have to rouse Mum. Kaylee, do you want to do the honours? Yeah. I thought you would have done that more nicely, sweetheart. Sweetheart, we've got a big, big day of exploring to do. That's so nice in bed. I need to talk to you about what we're doing today. Can you sit up? Why? Okay. So today the thing that we're going to go and do is something called Castle Rock Granite Skywalk. I don't like the sound of that, to be honest. <laughs> and it looks awesome, but um, it looks like something that might frighten you. So I'll tell you what, if you can come and do this and you pull it off, I will take you to do something else that you really like. Because you know what else is in this region? What? Wineries. <laughs> Alright, get dressed. Huh. Alright. Let's I love go. movie magic. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we're going to be doing a four kilometer return walk, class four. At the end of that walk, we reach the Granite Skywalk, 130 meters return, class five. Begins at the end of the walk. To reach the Skywalk, you'll need to scramble over and under large granite rocks, walk close to the cliff edge, and climb a seven meter ladder. Pump, uh, honey. Sounds so much fun. Yes, sure. <laughs> Let's get going. Okay, we've made it to the base of the Granite Skywalk. That was not easy. That was about two kilometers of stairs just up. Picture just walking upstairs for two kilometers. My heart rate, my watch was telling me my heart rate was about 135 the whole time. I guess on the good news, honey, you'd be too exhausted to worry about the heights. Daddy. I don't know about that, darling. This is how the Granite Skywalk starts. We've got to scramble up some rocks. It looks pretty gnarly. Let's get into it. All right, Owen, you can go first. I can follow behind you and catch you if you fall. And then maybe Kaylee and then Mummy. What's next? G'day. <laughs> hey, g'day. Hello. Oh, you watch your videos. Oh, oh do you? Oh, <laughs> Hi. <laughs> nice oh, to meet you. Yeah. All right, Owen. Look at that set of stairs, mate. Wow. <laughs> you can go up there. Then. The stairs we did in the jail in Frio, Mel. And when you get up here. <laughs> Good job, Mum. You'll be the last 
Well, here we are guys at the top of the Granite Skywalk. The view from up here is incredible. We are on top of the world. Oh, and another thing I'll show you, if you look straight down, it just goes down, 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 down to the <laughs> an endless drop. If you don't look down, it's not so scary, but if you look down, that's quite frightening. Mel's actually decided she can't handle any more time up here, so she's taken her way back. But I've got to say, honey, when you've watched this, I'm super proud of you for making your way all the way up here. So I'm going to go and climb down now, and we'll check in with her and see how she feels. Hello, sweetheart. Hey, well done for making your way up there. How do you feel? Um, I feel... Feel... <laughs> feel like that was a huge accomplishment. Um, Lucky Brett wasn't recording because I was swearing quite a bit trying to get up those um, that ladder. It's it's been quite a challenge for me to do some of these things because I do have a fear of heights, as most of you probably guessed. Um, and since we started travelling, I've been trying to conquer that fear, and it's been quite difficult um, just because it's just a fear and it's hard to do and like going up there and the view and when you look down and just all these things that just it's just scary <laughs> I found it very scary um, I couldn't stay up there very long I had to come down to <laughs> solid ground I guess because it was just a bit quite a quite a bit hard for me but every time we do this it gets slightly easier um, that <laughs> was still quite challenging for me I was I'm very sweaty and hot now and I do believe you promised me a winery. <laughs> I did. Sweetheart, I am so proud of you. I think you are smashing it. For someone who wouldn't even step onto a balcony back on the Gold Coast to doing that, that's a massive improvement. So yes, I will take you to a winery. We have come to Castle Walk Winery and hey, just take a moment to appreciate how gorgeous this family is. You don't <laughs> often see them wearing button-up shirts and dresses like that. Even I'm wearing a collar. It's probably the first time I've worn a collar in about a year. <laughs> so this is Castle Rock Estate, my dear, and they are famous for their Rieslings. Mm. They have a Riesling that's called uh, Granite Skywalk. So <laughs> yeah, after what you like achieved fun. today, it's, we'll take you in and uh, go and do some tastings, hey? Sounds good. Go on, kids. Try your Skywalk Riesling. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the kids have been happy as Larry. They found some toys to play with while we tried some wines. What have you ended up choosing, my dear? Um, we chose to have some Castle Rock Estate Skywalk Riesling. Uh, we're going to have a glass while we have our cheese platter. Crazy. The idea was we were going to sit out here and have a nice view of the mountain range, but. Um, as you might be able to see there, there is a fire about 40 k's that way. We, we should be okay, it's not going to cause us any problem other than the smoke, but we don't get a view of the mountain range. Oh. That's okay, we can still see the vine vines, that's all that really matters. We have a glass of wine amongst the wine vines. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to sit, have a glass of wine, have a bit of a cheese board, and um, we have another day of exploring tomorrow, so we'll see you tomorrow, and we'll take you for one of the other famous walks that you can do in this region. Good morning Van Fam. Today is another explore day. I've just come outside to enjoy my morning coffee. You would have seen yesterday in the footage from Castle Rock uh, a bit of a fire breaking out. That's about 40 kilometers away. And then later in the day the smoke rolled in. We've woken up this morning and it's incredibly hazy out here. It's a good thing no one in our family is asthmatic because um, yeah, it's super smoky. I'll overlay a little pan of what used to be the view of the mountains from our camp and then if this ever goes away i'll grab another one so you can see the difference but yeah it's it's just really smoky apparently we don't have to be worried it's about 40 kilometers away the fire so we should be okay out here but yeah it's just very very smoky 
Now we had plans today to go for a drive into the Stirling Range National Park. There is a really famous hike that you can do there called Knolls Bluff, but I'm just not sure how that's going to go today. We're still going to go for a drive in and have a look, but we'll just make a decision when we get there and see what it's looking like. Okay, so this is Bluff Knoll. This is apparently the highest peak in southern WA. And have a look at it. It looks pretty damn imposing. <laughs> Thankfully, the smoke has cleared. We're about 50 odd Ks from Paronga up where we're staying. So that makes sense that it's a little bit different over here. So we've decided that we are gonna tackle it. But Mel has been very pleasantly <laughs> regaling us with some of the best comments about this hike from wiki camps and some of them are pretty funny. Do you want to read some of them, Mel? Tough uphill walk with loads of stairs. I didn't really take in any views on the way up as I was too busy breathing and trying not to die. <laughs> <laughs> the summit is absolutely amazing though and it makes it all worthwhile. <laughs> and and um, the other one was a walk with many, many stairs, but well worth the effort. There were still flowers blooming, but of course the views from the summit are stunning. <laughs> <laughs> so this one looks like it's gonna be quite the challenge. So we're gonna get underway and we'll see you at the top. I am not often nervous about a walk, but this thing looks so damn imposing. I've decided to leave the tripod behind. We're just carrying the GoPro because I don't really fancy trying to lug a tripod up there as well. And Mel's just been talking to her <laughs> friend Clem from Our Whittle Adventure. And what did she say to you? She said that she almost died doing it. So I'm not looking forward to it at all. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be getting a workout today, guys. Joanna. Joanna. Nice. Um, a lot of stairs. Apparently there's only 250. <laughs> Must be halfway through them already. I don't think so. One foot in front of the other. Stairs, eh? Take some stairs. My heart rate right now is 150. So a fair bit higher. Where I only got up to 130 on the Castle Rock Walk. This one is significantly harder. What are your thoughts, honey? Oh, I dropped the F-bomb on our PG channel. It's brutal, eh? The view. Just the constant up. We can see, hopefully, what it looks like the summit up there. As Mel said, this has been brutal. So this is how we're doing it. Probably go about 50 to 100 meters before we stop and have a rest. Can we show everyone your back? I'm gonna show everyone my back, sure. You wanna see something gross? <laughs> it's all sweaty. Whew, this one is hard work, but have a look at the views that we get to rest to. Weather. What questions is it asking us, Kaylee? Is there cloud cover on the peak? Uh, nope. No. Are, are clouds rolling in? No. Is it raining? No. No. Even though I am as wet as if it was raining. Do you have the right clothing for cold and wet weather? No. No. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be a problem. No. If visibility is poor, will you be able to clearly see the track? Uh, no. No. Should you turn back now, Mum? No. <laughs> All right, guys. We made it to the top of Bluff Knoll. That was a real challenge. Only just, to be honest. Like, even the last 20 minutes, we passed some people and they're like, you're only 20 minutes from the top. And I was just ready to sit down and quit, to be honest. There were moments where I contemplated giving up and turning around for sure. That was really hard. That was three kilometers of Straight uphill up. climb. Yeah, that was, that was <laughs> I knew, brutal. I did know though, if I was to give up, I would kick myself for not having got to the top. Do you feel the same? I mean, the views are spectacular and I think we're going to stay up here for a little while just to enjoy them all. That's an excellent segue, my dear. I think we might send the drone out and share the views from up the top here.
Well, those are the views from the top of Knoll Bluff, the highest peak in southern Western Australia. Yep. Spectacular. Spectacular. <laughs> Hard bloody work though. <laughs> okay guys, we're going to wrap up this week's vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye. Bye. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. We really appreciate you making it right to the very end. If you'd like to watch another, YouTube thinks you'd like this one here. Click the thumbnail, the arrow is pointing at it. <laughs>